Gates. Gates are back and they're off and Fortune's Luck dwelt at the start, missed it by a length. First to go, Kelvin beat out no dice and also pushing through is Yarra Lee soon after the start. The stable mate yelling up girl is going to stride to second soon after as the rider of Kelvin takes hold and slows them up. Further back, Seable who didn't come out running at all and didn't want to contest the lead. He's now taken hold of it to sit outside of Fortune's Luck, followed by Arnie's boy and the tail ender is fast. Flicker at the 950 as they come down the river the side and they're only just hacking along the leader's got its neck arch mouth wide open and ears pricked it's kelvin three quarters yelling up girl with yarra lee the stable mate third running fourth is no dice fortune's luck is fifth on the rail a length seeable followed by arnie's boy without any change at all in the order fast flicker will have to come from last to win it at the 550 they leave the riverside kelvin getting it cozily in front three quarters clear yelling up girl second down on the inside with nowhere to go at the moment yarra lee traveling well though no dice pulls out three deep now being stoked up fortunes luck drove up in the middle seeable comes to the outside so does fast flicker kelvin's the leader yelling up girl yarra lee searching for a run here comes fast flicker though on the extreme outside from the back of the field and descends upon them races to the lead swoop past them dashed away and goes home to win it easily fast flicker from yarra lee and arnie's boy third late from no dice yelling up girl kelvin got tied fortunes luck and seeable in a race where no more than four links cover the entirety of them fast flicker number four the winner written by paul harvey the a lot mayor comes from last beats yarra lee who had to steady yarra lee getting held up in on the fence as fast flicker swooped around them made the move and was in full flight 250 from home as yarra lee was trying to dig its way clear Fast flicker, though, too strong. From Yarra Lee, six, and also there, Arnie's boy on the outside. So we wait for the numbers. They're four, six, three, five. Four, six, three, five here. The interim placings in 123.62. They only just went steady in the race, but the pacemaker was run over. It was the back marker who was able to swoop past them and go home and win by a length and a half. Half a length, second and third. The interim placings, 4, 6, 3, 5. Fast flicker goes back to back and has been a real transformation since Tony Triscari added the blinkers to this mare's gear back on the 22nd of November in Bunbury. She's by a lot out of Royal Anna for Les Andrews and ridden by Paul Harvey, defeating Yarra Lee with another minor placing. Just couldn't get out off the rails and build with any momentum as opposed to the eventual winner of the race, 34.90, they've run home in. Yarra Lee by Oratorio from Kelvin Rose for the Durham family, trained by Neville Parnham, ridden by Chris Parnham. Arnie's boy third in a patronised Let's Get Even, gelding Ash Maley and Alan Kennedy with no dice fourth in. But no more than probably uh, four lengths covered the whole field there as they went to the line behind the winner. Race two, the Amelia Park handicap over 1,400. There are no changes to come in the next at 12.59. As we head down now, Tony Triscari's made his way to the yard after watching his mare salute. The stable having a really good run, and he's down there with Lockie Taylor. Thanks, Darren. Certainly joined by Tony Triscari once again. We're getting very, very familiar with each other throughout this season. That was your 11th win from only 27 starters here this season. Fast flicker, second up. What were your, what were your expectations coming into today, Tony? We were actually reasonably confident, Lockie. Um, she's a really nice horse, and at home she just does what she has to do. She works with whatever she wants to work with and just sort of stays with them. Never overexerts herself. Um, she just gets a bit hot pre-race, but today she was really good, and I was really confident she'd, she'd go close to winning today. Last start, you took her down to Esperance. Was that key in her development moving forward, taking her down for that long trip, teaching her to travel well down to the races, and are we seeing the, the benefits of that here today? Look, without a doubt, it doesn't do him any harm at all. Um, and she's a very tough mare. Um, whatever you throw at her, she cops it. Um, just a bit highly strung, but other than that, she, she just takes whatever you give her. Provided she stays nice and relaxed in her races, do you think or envision that she can get out to a mile in time? She runs second in a mile already. Um, I've got no doubt she'll get to 18, um, especially if she relaxes like she did today. Um, no issues at all. She was very dominant here this afternoon. How do you plot a path towards a 16 or an 1800 metre race, as you mentioned? Oh, look, she's probably, probably have to go to a, a graduation or a 66 plus now. I'll, I'll sit down and have a good look. 
Um, she's not a horse I have to race every two weeks. Um, we'll just find one for her, whether it's a month, three weeks, two weeks, it doesn't matter. She could front up next week if I wanted to. Now, Premium Girl in the next. She's five weeks between runs. What do you make of her chances here in the next? She should be hard to beat, Lockie. She's a quality horse. Um, she's probably the best horse I've got in my stable. Um, very progressive, lovely filly, um, going to be a tremendous four-year-old. Still learning the craft. She still does a lot wrong. Um, I was hoping we could park on speed with her today, but I just don't know. We were going to park on speed with that one, but it never happened. I don't think she'll need to. Good luck in the next. Good on you. Thanks, mate. There's Tony Triscari saddling up yet another winner, Michael. As you mentioned earlier to me, that was his 11th win from 27 starters this season. The stable was absolutely flying, and a man key to that success has been Paul Harvey. Yeah, absolutely. 40% the winning strike rate for Tony's stable. Paul was aboard this particular, uh, particular mare last preparation, won a race at Bunbury and also a race at uh, Pinjarra. Paul, I'll uh, just grab a word from you. Uh, this mare's now won five from ten. She looks pretty progressive. Yeah, she does. Uh, don't know if she could have reeled out those sort of sh sectionals early in her career, but she seemed to do it very easy then. Yep. She chimed in really quickly. It was only a West Bay Platinum race, but the way she put them away is that of a horse that can probably win better races than that. Yeah, it felt good. felt really good under me. Um, that was plan B. Plan A was to sit outside the leader. Um, she's probably stepped out half a length slow and made the decision just to ride her where she was. What are you expecting from Odenaka coming up? Dropping back from 1600, but a good run in the Lex Piper. Yeah, I, I think the 200 short is against him. Um, I think this sort of breed, these um, a lot, so seem to like it around a mile. So uh, we'll see anyway, we'll be trying. Nice start to the day, well done. Cheers. There's Paul Harvey combining with Tony Triscari and Fast Flicker to take out the opener here at Ascot.